And here's example number eight on how to use integration by parts to integrate something like x times the natural log of x squared dx. Now again, since we don't know how to integrate the natural log of x, it's not a good idea to call this portion the dv, so you have to integrate it, so we're going to call this portion the u. But since this is squared, I have the suspicion that we may have to do this twice. So one of those techniques, again, where you have to use the integration of parts twice. Let's figure it out. So I'm going to call this portion right here u. And then x times dx, we're going to call that dv and see what we end up with. All right. So let u equal the natural log of x quantity squared. Um, and then the dv is going to be x times dx. All right, so let's find the derivative of u. That would be du. And du would be 2 times the natural log of x times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, which is a 1 over x times, of course, the derivative of x, which is dx. And here, when we integrate dv, we get v, which is equal to x squared over 2, plus a constant of integration, but we'll leave that to the end. All right, so now we have your u, your v, du, dv. We're ready to plug it in. So this now becomes equal to u, which is the natural log of x quantity squared times v, which is x squared over 2, minus the integral of v du. Our v is x squared over 2, and then our du is hmm, 2 times the natural log of x times 1 over x times dx. All right, uh, my suspicion was correct. We turned something that had a natural log of x squared into something that had the natural log of x to the first power. So it looks like we're on the right track. One more time, and probably the natural log of x disappears. Uh, this 2 cancels out this 2. This x cancels out this x. And this then becomes equal to the natural log of x quantity squared times x squared over 2 minus the integral of x times the natural log of x dx. That looks like one we've done before, but hey, let's do it again. I'm going to take this on the side and say let u equal the natural log of x, and then x dx will be dv, so u equals the natural log of x, and dv is equal to x times dx, and so du then, bec then becomes 1 over x dx, and integrating this, we get x squared over 2 plus a constant of integration. All right, plugging that into this portion of the problem, this becomes the natural log of x quantity squared times x over 2, and that would be x squared over 2 minus, okay, now it's going to be whatever we replace that with, it'll be u times v minus v du, so u is the natural log of x times v, which is x squared over 2, minus the integral of v, which is x squared over 2, times du, which is 1 over x times dx. And we're now in business. Because notice that this x cancels out that x. The 1 half can come outside the integral sign. And so we end up with this is equal to the natural log of x quantity squared times x squared over 2, minus this. So that would be minus the natural log of x times uh, x squared over 2. And then a minus times a minus becomes plus. The 1 half can come outside the integral sign, and then we're left with an x times dx. And that is easy to integrate. Can I simplify anything here? Yes, it <coughs> looks like we can. We can factor out a natural log of x times x squared over 2. So this is equal to, um, I think I'm going to leave that to the end because maybe something will happen here that I can just do it all at once, or maybe not. Let's see. Let's try this. So we have the natural log of, uh, x times x squared over 2. So I'm going to factor that out from the first two terms. So I'm left with a natural log of x, and I'm left with a minus 1. So that would be times the natural log of x minus 1. So that's these first two terms. Simplify a little bit, and then I'm going to integrate this. So it will be plus 1 half times x squared over 2 plus a constant of integration. And I guess I could simplify things a little bit more by, <coughs> excuse me, um, factor on x squared over 2. But I think at this time, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Again, the real, the real key here is that we had a natural log of x squared. 
and it looked like we needed to use the integration of parts twice to get rid of the natural log of x. The first time we got it down to a single natural log of x, the second time the natural log of x was gone and we could integrate everything else. And that's how you do this one.